Hi, I'm Connor from the Civilian Command Team here on the Pennsylvania State Roleplay Community. In this video I'm going to be going over how you can get started on the cutter system and I'll also leave some tips throughout the video so you can use the system to its full potential. So, let's get started. Once you're loaded onto the CAD systems homepage, uh, I'm going to probably leave a link on the screen and I may leave one in the description. But once it's all loaded and once you're on this homepage, uh, you want to click login at the top here. So, once you've clicked login, you'll come to this page here. You don't want to log in with anything as you don't have an account yet, so you want to go to create an account. Once you're at create an account, you want to fill out all these details. I'm going to put C Bennett as my name, because that's my name on the server. And my email, I'm going to have as P A S R P CAD video, as that is the uh, email I've made for this video. But you're going to use whatever email you have. Then you want to put in a password, confirm the password, and uh, check the capture. If you want to join the mailing list, that's up to you, but you don't have to, it's not mandatory. Then click sign up once you're all sorted. And then you'll come to here, join a community. Uh, at this point, you want to come to here and you want to type in Pennsylvania uh, State. Uh, you will have Pennsylvania State Roleplay here. If you want to click that, uh, before you click join, make sure it says owned by Banana Joe Lincoln and I kicked it. If it's not, then it's a the wrong one. But once you've checked all the details and it is the right CAD system, you want to click join community. Once you've clicked join community, you'll come to Pennsylvania State Roleplay Portal. Uh, here it will give you your stats your uh, and all your stats here. It will give you a link to the Discord for the Rocket CAD Discord, change log for the Rocket CAD and so on. These aren't customized links and they won't take you to our Discord uh, on our server. Uh, you'll have to go to our website for that. So this is the home page, there isn't much there. Uh, if you do choose to leave us in the future, you can switch community, uh, but that's just uh, there. When you do leave, you shouldn't have to switch community if you are staying within the community at any point, unless we do decide to change CAD. So the first main tab you'll come to is settings. Now in settings, you can change your name. So just for uh, demonstration purposes, I'm gonna put a dot here in a space, as that's how I lay my name all uh, properly. You also have your email and you can change your email as many times as you want and you can also add your Steam X. I'm not going to go over how to add your Steam X in this video, but if you click find hex, it will tell you how to do it here. There's also change password here, so if you need to change your password at any point, you can do it here. If you're also logged out of your account and you can't get back in because you forgot your password, you can do the same thing from uh, the login menu. There's also a name enable two-factor authentication. So if you want your account to be more secure, I'd recommend turning this on. I'm not going to be going over how to do that, uh, but it's pretty much self-explanatory. If you want your screen to be more darker, like I prefer, you can check dark mode. It will, it will stay on any of the tabs, because it is CAD wide, regardless of what uh, department you're patrolling in, etc. Support mode, I won't be going over today, it's not really necessary. And the rest of these uh, options here, don't really matter client ID make sure you do not send that to anyone so I'm not going to be making mine unhidden you also have the option to leave the CAD so like I said if you do choose to leave the community later on down the line it is recommended that you do leave the CAD so our CAD is not full with players that aren't no longer in the community now getting into the main CAD system and how it works you have the next tab identifiers now an identifier is kind of like a profile and it houses all of your uh, Kind of characters etc and things like that so i'm going to type in c bennett however if you do choose to join uh, the reserve or the auxiliary uh, departments uh, on the police side of things uh, you can make a separate one for your police so my uh, unit number is 654 so i'm going to make two one for c bennett and one for 654 that's pretty much all there is for identifiers it's just profiles and you customize them later on once you get the patrol so, speaking of patrol, we'll go into it now. So, patrol tab houses all of the departments that you belong to. Currently on my CAD system I have here, I only have civilian operations, but as you join, like I said, uh, reserve or auxiliary departments, you'll have these, or, do, or if you choose to join another department, you'll have them here as well. Uh, we also have a fire CAD for fire members. You'll, uh, you'll already have the civ operations because if you are not registered to our community at all, you can still use our CAD system. So if you're not registered, you can still follow this tutorial. So, firstly, I'm going to move to server status and the rest of these, and then I'm going to go into the main CAD and show you how that works. So, the next tab is server status. It's pretty much uh, self explanatory. 
it will just show you the statuses of our main server and our training server. Now the training server is currently under maintenance as you can see and the main server is currently online as you can also see. Uh, these will be updated as things change. The training server you don't really need, you don't really need to worry about as it's only for police and fire uh, who get trained. Now court is currently not in use that's why you'll get an error message. Department admin you won't be an admin unless uh, you get up to the ranks and you uh, become an admin obviously. So now we're going to go back to patrol and we're going to go through the civ CAD. I'm not going to be going over any other department CADs uh, as this video is uh, pretty much just for civ. Uh, I just decided to show the home page uh, just for demonstration purposes so you knew uh, what it is for your future. Now once you've clicked civilian operations you'll have selected department civ and then uh, the logo of the uh, civ department. You then want to click next. Do not click training server, make sure you click main server. That's uh, make sure. If you don't do that then you'll end up in the wrong CAD and you won't be with everyone else. You'll be on a completely different CAD. Then you want to click next and then pick your identifier. For civ you want to pick your name uh, as that's more recognizable but it doesn't really matter. Uh, the police will only ever really see your uh, actual uh, character name but if uh, you are on duty as an officer uh, you would use your CAD thing because this is what they uh, identify you by on the police CAD but in the Civ CAD you can make yourself little uh, characters and they view you by that you can also manually ident uh, make an identifier uh, so I'm going to make another uh, identifier called 101 and then I could click next but I'm not going to do that so if you don't want to save them and you just want to do them manually every time you can do that but it's just easier to have them saved so you want to click patrol so once you click patrol you'll come to the civilian menu now here on out it will just be strictly civ as we are now in the civ cad and not on the main home page it will say select a persona to continue now what's a persona a persona is like your uh, character that you would use in game uh, and we recommend you use as much detail as possible leading on to that you want to click create now you can create as many characters as you want, uh, we recommend keeping it to a minimum so you don't have loads and loads of uh, characters cluttering your menu but uh, try to keep your names uh, realistic when you're creating your characters. Quick setup, we don't have enabled uh, as we want to make sure you have a complete setup to make sure you uh, obviously have your characters with as much detail because then it's just a lot more realistic for the server in general and the police and uh, fire have more information when they need to. So you want to click complete setup. It won't allow you to click quick setup so don't bother trying but you'll have to click complete setup. You'll be, you'll be prompted with this menu. You then want to type in your civilian name. So I'm going to type in Connor Bennett as that's my civilian name. Uh, it will tell you if that name's not unique. As you see mine's not. The reason for that is I use this character already. But if you make a unique name it will tell. Cool this, uh, this name's unique. That's what it will say below. You then want to give it a date of birth. Don't give it a date of birth like 1 years old or 176 years old. Keep it realistic, please. Uh, so I'm going to make my character 20 years old. Once you've done that, you want to go to select the gender. You want to click male, female or whatever else you want to pick. Uh, the X, I'm guessing, is just if you want to identify something else. Select a race. You can pick any of these. For the demonstration, I'm going to pick white. But you can pick whatever you want. It's up to you. Select a hair colour, you can pick any of these, uh, you can pick other, say if you have uh, pink hair and it's not on here, you'll click other uh, and the police will just recognise you with uh, a hair type other than these, so pink uh, for example. But I'm going to have black hair, my character. Now, uh, it says enter height here, uh, so I'm just going to put 5 foot 5 as it uh, suggested here, and then it says enter weight in kilograms. I'm just going to put 60 kilograms for now. Your current address, you want to put an in-game poster menu so when you press escape on your keyboard it will bring up the pause menu and on the map there's little numbers dotted around the map. They're postal codes. Uh, so I'm going to live at 2020 let's say and that turns out to be Joe Lane so I'm going to live on 2020 Joe Lane. Uh, and tr please try to use actual postals uh, for in the AOP or whatever. Uh, and just in general because then the police will be actually know where you live and if you do end up going to your house and the, you're on the run from the police it gives the police uh, a little bit more realism that they can actually come and maybe uh, look at your house for you 
the next section is current op occupation uh, and in here I'm just going to put in employed but you can do whatever you want as long as it's realistic and once you've done that and you've filled all these out you'll have a little green uh, next arrow so you want to click that so now once you've done that you'll have your character that means we're all complete all the basic information is done but you can add more information once you click on this name should you choose to so I'm going to click Connor Bennett once you've clicked your name you'll come to your character menu uh, on here you can have everything such as licenses uh, and making sure you re uh, register all your vehicles and firearms things like that you also have a medical profile and you can see what you've been arrested for and things like that the first option you come to is upload mugshot now upload mugshot will uh, you can upload a picture of like uh, your face on here uh, so you can make your character more detailed I'd recommend using some kind of screenshot tool to take a screenshot of your face and then upload it onto here and it would make it look like a real ID it looks a lot better this plus tool uh, this is just shortcuts for these uh, options down here I'm not going to be using this I find it easier just to click these but it's personal preference the next thing you'll have is uh, your name and your job status you then have licensing overview this will show what licenses you current ha currently have I don't have any at the moment because I haven't set any, but I'm going to show you how to do that as well in a minute. And then it has a uh, recent criminal history. This will show your prior arrests uh, and things like that. Uh, I currently haven't been arrested yet, so that's why I haven't got anything. But once the police start arresting you and they fill it out, uh, they will fill out things in here and you'll, uh, you'll start to notice. If you're not a criminal, then you won't have many. But if your character is a criminal, then you'll have quite a few here. So the next tab we're going to go to is personal information. This is where you can change your name, your hair colour, and things like that. So should you choose to change your hair of your character at any point, you can note it down here. And uh, please don't change anything like dates or your age, uh, because it will automatically go up as you get older. But uh, don't change your date of birth, because you can't really do that in real life. If you choose to change your name, then change your name. Uh, but make sure uh, you keep the names realistic as possible whenever you're changing them. There's not much on here apart from that. You can't change your government information here. That stays as it is. Uh, and basic information you can change if you want to, but it's up to you. So should you choose to change your address, you can do that here as well. The next tab we have is the licensing center. When you click on here, you'll have nothing here uh, currently, apart from the uh, title of the uh, kind of menu area. You want to click a plus. And you can choose from a driver, a boating, a hunting, a firearm, and a pilot's license. For now, I'm just going to have a driver's license, but they all work the same. Uh, so should you choose to have a hunting license, you can set that to valid, and so on. They all work exactly the same, it's just which one you want to choose. So I'm just going to have a driver's license for now. Uh, and you can change the status of them here. So should I choose an RP, I want my driver's license to be expired. I can change it here. Or should I choose it, uh, choose it to be suspended? I would click on suspended and the next tab you'll have is vehicle center now in vehicle center you can register all your in-game vehicles so the cops can search your plate up and it'll come straight back to your name so to go and do this you want to type your license plate in on your vehicle make sure it matches perfectly for now I'm just going to put a test so I'm going to put T3ST uh, that's going to be my license plate for now but it's not a real plate M uh, the model I'm just going to have a bravado buffalo that's going to be my car uh, and then you'll have primary colour and secondary colour so your, the main colour on your vehicle uh, is what the primary colour will be so I'm going to have black and I'm also going to have Torino red as my secondary colour my colour type uh, will be metallic you'll have to go through these menus uh, to figure out what colours you want anyway so you should know what colour type and things like that you're using and then there's registration and insurance status. I'm going to have them both on valid, but uh, it's up to you. If you want to drive a, a, a like a vehicle with no insurance, uh, just add some extra RP, then go ahead. It's up to you. Once you've done that, you want to click the next button and you'll have that car registered. You can then mark your car as stolen if you would like to. This notifies the police when they search up the plate that it is stolen. So anyone driving that vehicle currently uh, would be taken in uh, for suspicion of stealing a vehicle you can also edit again you can edit every single option you made before uh, so should you change your number plate or should you change the colors you can do that you can also delete your vehicles so if you don't want loads of vehicles in your uh, name then you can delete some of them 
The next option we have down here is firearm center. Now this is pretty similar to the vehicle center, but it's for firearms. So you're gonna to wanna to enter your model. I'm gonna have a combat pistol. And then you can enter the color. I'm gonna have a black pistol. Once you've done that, it will give you a serial number and say what it is, so a black combat pistol. The status, again, you can mark it as stolen, you can edit the information, or you can delete the gun if you don't want to keep it anymore. Took a while to load there, sorry. The next thing we have a medical profile. Now this is where you can add more detail into your character. I'm going to go through it pretty quickly, and I'm going to put none for most of it, but should you choose to put uh, some kind of condition or medication, then you can choose that. So I'm going to put none uh, for here. I'm going to put James Bennett as my uh, emergency contact. Medical notes, I'm going to have none. Medications, I'm not using any. Allergies and reactions, I don't have any allergies. Are you an organ donor? My character is going to be one. And my blood type will be B positive. I went through this pretty quick, but it's pretty self-explanatory what you put in here. Uh, it looks better if you know the proper names for medication. So instead of painkillers, put the actual name for the painkiller and what kind of drug it is. So the, med uh, the medics who are trained to know the types of drugs will know exactly what they can and cannot give you. So the next bit is the judicial center. Now in here it will show your recent traffic offenses such as speeding and your recent arrest history. Now cops can fill this out, you cannot fill this out yourself. If you don't have much on your traffic offense history, police will tend to be more friendly with you and they'll usually give you things like warnings uh, and smaller citations instead of giving you a massive fine. If you have loads of speeding tickets and you do more speeding, they're going to give you worse punishments. And arrest histories, it's just so we can keep track of how many times you've been arrested. Uh, and so can you. If you want to kind of like stop being such a criminal, you want you realise that you've been arrested so many times, you want to kind of do more uh, less criminal things, then you can do that yourself. Now, that's pretty much it for the civilian card. Uh, I'm not going to go over anything else today. That's pretty much all there is. It's pretty simple. Once you get used to it, it's pretty easy. Uh, but that's all there really is for this video. Uh, if you have any more uh, suggestions for tutorials we can do in the future, then please let us all know in the description, uh, in the comment section. Sorry, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it helped you. Thank you.